player. He was just shocked and he killed a monster buck at a spot that he set up because it was a spot he never would set up before because he was worried of getting winded. Yeah, kind of an untouchable, is there, unhauntable yeah. spot previous to that. Wow. Yeah, he, he basically, I'll, I'll kind of explain the situation. Yes, real please. Quick. He had a little water hole. This was on, he owned his own property. He had a little water hole and it was between two bedding areas. There was a bedding area about 50 yards on either side. So he never, he always wanted to hunt the water hole because there wasn't a lot of other water in the area. This, the bedding areas didn't have water. There mm -hmm. wasn't any water, he said, for like three eighths of a mile. So that was a destination spot, you know, every day because yes. you have to drink. And it had security cover around it. So it had all the things he needed, but he was just afraid if he set something up there, he didn't know which way the buck would come from or bucks. He had two good bucks on his property last year. And he was always afraid if they came from the wrong bedding area, he'd get winded. Yeah. And he didn't want to do that because he had other places that he thought he could possibly get a potential chance at them. So after the workshop, he went in and he prepped that location, bought the scent lock suit, head cover, started washing his backpack and stuff. And the first day he went in there, I think it was October 2nd, he saw 14 different deer and they were lingering around, you know, like drinking. They were there yeah. for a while. And he never got winded, which kind of blew his mind because he never had any scent control before. He always hunted the wind. And then about two weeks later, mid-October, it was supposed to rain the next day. So he knew if it rained, now there's going to be pools of water in the two bedding areas. So yes. not that negates his water hole as a destination spot. He's thinking. He's thinking, oh yeah, this guy was a good hunter. Yeah. He killed some nice bucks. He came strictly for the scent control. That's all he came for. Okay. And uh, he got up in the tree and he sat there and he had several does and fawns come in and drink and there was four subordinate bucks at the water hole while, wow. while he's sitting there. They're all year and a half old bucks. And he said almost at the same moment, all four of them turned their heads and looked at the bedding area, which was downwind of him. It was the one on his right. Downwind? Down, the bedding area downwind, and that's a buck, one of the two big bucks was coming to the water hole from that bedding area, directly downwind of him. Wow. And he said, oh my God. He was just so scared, because he had been bow hunting probably 20 some years. And when you bow hunt at a long time, and somebody's gonna tell you, you can negate the wind, yeah, I just... that you think they're full of BS. Nuts, yeah. And I thought the same thing. You know, I hunted 35 years, 100% wind, and then 17 not. Um, but anyway, that buck came in and he shot it at 14 yards. Oh my. And he was blown away and he said all season long he never had a deer spook the, from winding him. Wow. He had deer downwind of him all the time. And he said the coup de gras was uh, just prior to the rut. He had this one location that he wanted to hunt in the evening. And he could never hunt it in the evening because he had to walk through a weed field to get to it. And deer would always cross through that weed field, you know, b before dark and cross his scent and spook the does. And uh, so he said, you know what, I'm going to try this. And these weeds were just a little over waist high. So he, he carried his bow up over his head so he made sure his bow didn't touch anything. And he walked through the weeds and that evening he had three, he didn't kill anything that evening. But he had three different mature does with fawns cross his route and wow. never spooked. And he said, done. He was like, I can't believe it. That's it. He said, there is no way yeah. on God's green earth that that ever would have happened before. Absolutely. He called me and he, he's got a testimonial on my on my uh, website. website. Yeah. Wow. And I've got testimonials from the editor of uh, Deer and Deer Hunting, from Mike Avery, from Tom Nelson. Uh, from the uh, editor or the executive director of the Pope and Young Club and mm. uh, from the owner of Sant Lock. So I've got some really nice industry testimonials Absolutely. on there too. Yeah. But I'll go get that. Okay. Pass. All right.